Welcome, have a nice day. Today is Friday, 15th of March 2024. Every year, 15th of March is celebrated as the World Consumer Rights Day. World Consumer Rights Day is, was inspired by the President John F. Kennedy, who sent a special message to the United States Congress on 15th of March on 1962, in which he formally addressed the issue of the consumer rights. Starting the news of Brunless with the news of the Hindu state that SpaceX comes close to completing test flight of mega rocket but lost its spacecraft near end. SpaceX's mega rocket has flown higher and farther than ever before. SpaceX's mega rocket Starship launched at the town in the his on its third test flight from Starbase in Boca Chica, Texas, Thursday, March 14, 2024. SpaceX came close to completing an hour-long test flight of its mega rocket on its third try Thursday, but the spacecraft was lost as it descended back to the Earth. The Hindu news also states that ahead of magnitude of 5.8 earthquake hits Japan's Fukushima. An earthquake with a preliminary magnitude of 5.8 hit in the eastern Japan early on March 15. Japan local time, the Japan Meteorological Agency said the epicenter of the earthquake was off the coast of Fukushima Prefecture. People throw leaves with the messages written on them into the sea for the victims of 2011 earthquake and tsunami disasters in Japan. In the news of also stated that uh, my focus is on welfare of the nation, says Modi, addressing beneficiaries of the Prime Minister Swanidhi scheme is an event in the capital on March of 14. Prime Minister Narendra Modi said the union government has been making a concerted uh, effort to uplift the street vendors of the country. Prime Minister Modi beneficiaries of PM Swanidhi lays a foundation stone after additional corridors of Delhi Metro's Phase 4. Prime Minister Narendra Modi addresses uh, the crowd at laying of uh, the foundation stone of the two additional corridors of Delhi Metro's phase four during the program at Jawaharlal Nehru Stadium in New Delhi on March 14, 2024. Prime Minister Modi holds tax with the Bhutanese counterpart Modi to travel to Bhutan next week. Prime Minister Narendra Modi will visit Bhutan next week and after the visiting uh, Bhutanese Prime Minister Shredding Tobake. After the two leaders met in Delhi on Thursday night, Mr. Tobage is on a five-day visit to India and is expected to return uh, to Timpu on Monday, after which Mr. Modi will travel there, official said. Prime Minister Narendra Modi with the Prime Minister of Bhutan and Dasho Shering Tobke during the meeting in New Delhi on March 14, 2024. Electoral bonds data BJP received rupees 6060 crore, highest among all parties. The Bhatia Janta Party and cashed electoral bonds worth rupees 6060 crore, crore, the highest among all parties between April 12, 2019, and January 24, 2024. In the period of BJP's share in the total bonds and cashed was worth 47.5%. BJP share in the total bonds and cash was over 47.5%. The Election Commission of India ECI has put up the full list of donors who purchased electoral bonds and the political parties that and cashed them. The State Bank of India had disclosed this information to the Election Commission of India on March 12. The Supreme Court had directed the ECI to host this information on its website by the 15 March. The SBI supplied this data in two sets. The first set contains the data purchase of elect uh, each electoral bond, the name of the purchaser of the bond, and the, and the denomination of the bond purchased. In total, 22,217 bonds were purchased between April 1, 2019 and February 15, 2024. The table first lists these details. So I could have had hidden it. What does electoral bonds data published by the AECI tells us? The Election Commission of India office in New Delhi. In the electoral bonds data released yesterday, the only identifier on the donor side in the name of the company or individual. In order to find out more about donor companies, we did an exact 
Nee, met, oh, with the database of the Ministry of Corporate Affairs, MCA fetched their unique ID and a look into the basic data available from MCA on them. Hindustan Times also states that electoral bonus lottery king to infra firm among top donors, the Election Commission of India in New Delhi. From a lottery company with operations in multiple states to company that built the Kaleshwaram Dam to large industrial conglomerates, the top five purchasers of electoral bonds spent upwards of Rs. 3446 crore between April 2019 and February 2024. Data released by Election Commission of India on Thursday showed the highest donor with the bonds worth Rs. 1,368 crore was a future gaming and hostel and hotel service private limited, a company run by Santiago Martin, commonly known by the monkey moniker Lottery King. The company was the subject of an enforcement directorate investigation since 2019, with the raid is carried out in Coimbatore and Chennai in May 2023. For illegal violations of the Prevention of the Money Laundering Act, PMLA officials is familiar with the case said that the enforcement drive probe is based on the Central Bureau of Investigation charge sheet that alleged the company sold lotteries from the government of Sikkim in Kerala. And so now also states that the United States sends letter of acceptance to India for the predator or drone purchase. The letter of acceptance is a response to India sending a letter of intent to purchase 31 drones uh, to the United States government. New Delhi, India and the United States have further cemented defense cooperation with the Biden administration sending the final letter of acceptance to the Defense Ministry for acquisition of 31 MQ-9B Predator drones from the General Atomics through the government to government route. The United States sent the classified LOA for the nearly $4 billion acquisition to India this week. Mr. Davis also stated that India in just uh, one place on United Nations idea is now placed 134. The United Nations report also said India demonstrated progress in reducing gender inequality. India has bettered its ranking by one spot on a global United Nations measure of well being and equality of life of citizens. Making progress for the first time since slipping in 2021, according to the 2023-24 Human Development Report titled Breaking the Gridlock, Reimaging Cooperation in a Polarized World, released on Thursday. As the terminal states that migrating does a peak work. Citizenship Amendment Act, hope for foster Indian citizenship. The rules of uh, aim to confer Indian citizenship uh, to persecuted and uh, non-Muslim uh, migrants, including Hindus, Sikhs, uh, Jainas, Buddhists, Parsis, and Christians. Jaish born on uh, February 18, 2015, uh, at the Bai Hospital on Nektahera Road in Lucknow, is not an Indian. He finds himself in a peculiar situation regarding his citizenship. Despite being born in Lucknow, his father Sunil Kumar Madan and mother Kanta, who migrated from Gauti, Pakistan in 2009, are yet to secure Indian citizenship for Jaish. Though Sunil and Kanta got their citizenship in December 2022, the process of for Jaish remains pending. Now, going towards the economy of the country from the business point of view, small caps recover partially since X rises 355, sorry, 335 points. The 30 share building stock exchange sends X climb at 335.39 points or 0.46% to settle at 73,097.28. During the day, it jumped 602.41 points or 0.82% to 73,364.30. Stock market rebounds on Thursday. Lead acid battery is most successful example of circular economy. Strong reason to continue innovating, Amara Raja ED. In response to the clean energy transition, they are also diversifying through their new energy bases, which deals with the lithium ion technology. Harshavardhana Gorani, Executive Director, Automotive and Industrial at Amara Raja.
Wholesale inflation tips marginally to 0.2% in February. The wholesale price index WPI based inflation was in the negative zone from April to October and had turned a positive number November sorry at 0.26%. The inflation in the February 2023 was 3.85%. Wholesale inflation rate declined marginally to 0.2% in February compared to 0.27% in the preceding month despite a slight uptick in the fall basket. Food inflation moved up marginally to 6.95% in February. Now going to the world news including Russians had polls in a vote set to extend Putin's rule. The United States says it is concerned about CAA and closely monitoring its implementation. Israeli strikes kill at least 29 Gazans awaiting aid, say Palestinian officials. Palestinian leaders uh, uh, appoints long-time advisor as a prime minister in the face of a calls for reform. 60 migrants spared drowned and crossing Mediterranean from Libya. Ukraine calls Russia's election on occupied territories null and void. Going towards the science and technology from the artificial intelligence point of view, open artificial intelligence is Sora Artificial Intelligence Video Generator will be available for public this year. CTO Mira Moroti. Uh, this powerful tool can generate realistic videos uh, based on a user prompts and is expected to place prize similarly to the DAL E. Another open artificial intelligence creation will soon be available for the public. Sora is based uh, on the past research done uh, in DAL E and GPT models. Elon Musk's SpaceX gets launch license for the Starship's third flight. SpaceX received a, the FAA launch license for its third launch after the first two ended in disaster. Elon Musk's SpaceX is now ready to launch Starship, the biggest and most powerful rocket ever built after the United States Federal Aviation Administration granted it a launch license. SpaceX Starship lifts off of during an orbital test mission on the company's Boca Chica launch pad near Brown, Sevilla, Texas, United States, April 20, 2023. Bangalore based Satyajit helps farmers using satellite data from NASA, ESA, others. Bangalore based Satyajit Analytics uh, helps farmers get better yields using advanced analytics on data from NASA, ESA, and other parties. Satyukta Analytics uh, uses advanced technology to combine data from the multiple sources and interpret them for their customers who are farmers. From the tech news, IT spending expected to grow 11% year-on-year year to reach $44 billion in 2024 IDC. Generative artificial intelligence will accelerate artificial intelligence adoption in the country with more organizations either exploring or actively investing in the use case. The International Data Corporation IDC on uh, Wednesday said it expected IT spending uh, in India to grow 11% year on year to reach $44 billion in 2024. IT spending was mostly driven by the non hardware segments. At last, there is a famous quotation said by Muhammad Iqbal, birth and university 9 November 1877 up to 21 April 1938, was a South Asian Muslim philosopher, author and a politician. His poetry is considered to be among the greatest of the 20th century and his vision of culture, cultural and a political ideal for the Muslims of British rule in India is widely regarded as having animated the impulse for the Pakistan movement. His commonly referred to by the honorific Alama Persian, translated most learned. Iqbal was a strong proponent uh, of the political and spiritual revival of the Muslim world as a whole, but particularly of the Muslims in India. Uh, subcontinent, a series of lectures he delivered to this effect were published as the reconstruction of religious thoughts in Islam in 1930. He was elected to the Punjab Legislative Council in 1927 and held several positions in the All India Muslim League. In his Allahabad address delivered at the League's annual assembly in 1930, he formulated a political framework for the Muslim majority regions spanning northwestern India. Spurring the League's pursuit of the two nation theory in August 1947. 
Nine years after Iqbal's death, the partition of the India gave way to establishment of Pakistan, a newly independent Islamic state in which the Iqbal was honored as the national poet. He is also known as the Pakistani society as Hakim ul Ummat, the wise man of the Ummah, and uh, as Mufakir of Pakistan, the thinker of Pakistan, the anniversary of his birth, Yawm Waladat Muhammad Iqbal, on 9 November, is observed as the public holiday in Pakistan. Uh, Dr. Alama Iqbal says a famous quotation. He says that, "Be aware of your own worth. Use all of your power to achieve it. Create an ocean from a tear drop." Do not beg for light from the moon. Obtain it from the spark within you. Okay, thank you.